Hi, I'm Paul Vandenberg from Paradiso's Del Sol Winery in the Rattlesnake Hills of Washington State's Yakima Valley. It's June 12th, 1030 in the morning. It's a very busy time in the vineyard. Things are growing madly. It's called the grand period of growth. And at 1030 in the great morning is a great time to do some evaluating of our canopy. One of the things we can do is look at the shade on the ground. Excuse me, Digley. We want to see mottled sunlight. If it's a solid mass of shade, that means our canopy is too thick. We want sunlight coming through the canopy to make sure we're exposing everything. We also now take this uh, moment while we're looking at the ground to look at our cover crop. Some people would call it weeds, but mustard is a very valuable thing in our vineyard. It is the food source for the adults of many of our beneficial predatory insects. The adults often feed on pollen and nectar. And we've just come through bloom on some varieties. This is our young Limburger, the Walter Clore Memorial Limburger Vineyard. And the flowers are finished, and what we're seeing now is the tiny little berries. Now, we go through a period where we call shatter, where some of these little berries are going to fall off. The vine's way of regulating itself. So, up at this point, we don't really know for sure how many grapes we're going to have here. Uh, and we're a little ahead of schedule this year. Normally this is something we'd see in about 10 days. But by the end of the month, we're going to be able to come through. The, the ones that are going to fall off all have fallen off, and we'll be able to actually count the berries and start getting our crop estimate. But because things are growing quickly, we need to continue our effort of securing things from the wind and the smaller plants that didn't make it up to the wire last year. We're still working on getting them there. At this time of year, these guys grow an inch a day. It's very rapid, very rapid. And so we try and get through uh, this young stuff once a week, quick pass through to secure it so the wind doesn't break it off. Next to us, the older Chenin Blanc is doing fabulous. Our shoot length is hitting that one meter mark that we're after. Uh, so from this point on, we're really going to try and not get these vines to grow anymore. Uh, we watered them just before bloom to make sure the plant was good and strong. So we got good set on the berries. Again, a little shatter yet to happen. Shannon Blanc's a day or two ahead of the Limburger there. Um, so what we're going to do now is not water these vines until they're showing signs of uh, danger. Uh, from this point on, we're only water enough to keep the leaves from turning yellow and falling off. We have the growth we need. There's no point in trying to get more growth. It becomes contrary. That'll increase our shading. One meter length is perfection. We're really close there. We may go over that a little bit, but not by much. Uh, deep fertile soil. Uh, when it's time to start watering these guys again, uh, with our drip system on each side, we water one side of the row. A week or 10 days later, we'll water the other side. Um, because it takes 14 to 20 days to come back to each watering point, we don't get a lot of vegetation growth. We'll be able to keep this mustard alive through the summer by periodically mowing it. It'll keep coming back and we can keep it in bloom until October. That's part of our management strategy. So, this week at Vineyard Del Sol.